Hello everybody, Bruce Petrov with Home Maintenance Solution and Ask Handyman Bruce. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a glass in a steel door like this. Uh, this one got hit by a rock and it shattered, just the outside pane, the inside pane's okay. But let's get started. Okay, so you want to come to the inside first and remove these little fillers. You can see I've kind of taken them out all through here. I just got to keep going around. Let's get the camera back down here now. So you kind of take a small screwdriver and jab it into there and try to... Sometimes they're a little hard to get out, but you get the idea. You want to jab it in there and try to pull that out of there. Okay, so we want to dig in here, pop each one of these out, expose the screws, and then I'll show you the next step in a minute. Okay, so after you get all the screws out, you want to kind of get behind this frame with a knife and then just some caulk there if you got to break loose and then maybe a little pry bar like this or something and get this front frame off the outside should be caulked into the door so it shouldn't fall out whoops i got one more screw there that's my fault don't do what i did got one screw left here So this outside glass <clears throat> should be caulked into the door so it shouldn't fall out. But anyway, that's the first step there. Now we're gonna go to the outside and cut that out. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing out here. We're gonna cut this caulk. And there's no screws on the outside because the screws come through from the inside. But we're gonna cut that caulk loose. Pull the glass pack out, and you can see here the thermal glass pack there. The outside frame that's fixed to the glass, and then the inside frame we took off before, so it's the same process for putting the new one in. Good. Okay, so this is the new unit that I bought. Now, there's a couple options you have here. One is you could separate this plastic frame from the glass, and you could just literally order a thermal glass unit like that um, and then you can put the frame back on however um, it's actually quite a bit cheaper to order this entire um, unit for a one and three eighths door so this is a one and three eighths inch thick steel door so I just ordered the proper sized glass unit for a steel door so just a little tip for you you can get that a little cheaper sometimes or most of the time um, and I just went to my glass shop and they ordered it for me. So, but you could probably look online and order it yourself too. So, uh, thing here, I'm going to take all the screws out of this one, separate the two. We'll caulk it in place and get it finished up. Okay, so one thing I discovered here is that this is built a little differently, this newer system. Um, instead of needing to caulk this in place, uh, if you can zoom in here, can you see that? Can you see it? Okay, so there's a um, there's a little rubber bead there, and it's kind of tacky, but it's made to like squish onto the steel door. We can always caulk the outside afterwards if we want for appearance, but it looks like we've got this all taken care of, so no need to caulk it into the door. I'm not going to be talking. Okay, I had an idea here. Instead of using the new trim ring, I was going to use the old one. The new one's white, I 
this, but the old one painted to match my door already. So I'm going to try it, but you don't have to do that. Especially if yours is in bad shape, you might like to have the new trim ring. One thing I probably wouldn't do is use a drill on this. Um, it, it could overdrive the screws and crack the glass, so I just kind of take the slow route and do these by hand. They're pretty coarse threads. They don't take a lot of turns to, to get them in. Another thing I'm doing too is I'm kind of lifting up on the glass to get it to fit right. Instead of letting it sit all the way down in the opening, um, I'm holding it up so it's kind of centered in the opening and then I sandwich it together after I've got it where I want it, which is it's looking good now. So I think I can go along. Uh, I'm going to get a helper to hold the side on, on that side so I can put these screws in and not push that out. But we're just about in good shape now. I'm just going to tighten up the screws and I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, that's the last screw, but now I want to go back around and sort of make sure they're all tight as we make sure they're all even and snugged up. I don't think you need to be super concerned about cracking the glass. I just said about the drill because sometimes you can't tell how tight you're getting it. If you're good with a drill and you can do it, that's I'm not opposed to that, but I just... I think that's a little safer okay now um the new door comes with these little plugs so the last step is to well the last step is to, to paint it but the last step for today for our purposes so let's let, i don't know if you can see this with the the bright background that we have but see how um right there how that kind of popped out on me um, these little, these little prongs to this need to stay inside and lots of times this works better for me. I don't know if you can see, but see how I put in this side first and then I push it this way Then I just tap it in place. Um, we'll do that all the way around. Um, then you can, uh, go ahead and paint the door. And if you want, you can caulk this edge. And again, it's just for appearance, um, but certainly would look nice if we caulked that. So I'll caulk that with some latex caulk and paint it up. Anyway, that's how you replace the shattered glass in your exterior door.